Merry Christmas. Forget about the cost of living crisis. Forget about the wars. Forget about the grinding poverty, centralization, surveillance and censorship. Have a McDonald's or a Coke or an Amazon product. That'll cheer you up. <sighs> Hello there, you six million awakening wonders. Thanks for joining me on this voyage towards truth and freedom. Happy Christmas one, happy Christmas all. Where's my erection Christmas hat? I will put that fucker on if it appears. In a sense, festivals have always been a time of universal distraction. What is the point of the carnival? The point of the carnival is to sedate and distract the poor. A temporary destruction to the order of things so that we forget the fact that we live in the midst of corruption. Yeah, Merry Christmas, man. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at some Christmas propaganda. Well, giving you some Christmas facts, for example. More than one million poor people with health problems in England are at risk of cold at a time where energy giants are making huge profits. About 13% of New Yorkers or 2.7 million people in the state live in poverty and rich Americans live for 15 years longer than the poor. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Now let's have a look at the old propaganda factory and their disgusting, celebrated, lauded advertisements that we have piped into our brains at this time of year to keep us dumb, stupid, gleeful and distracted. Ho, 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 ho. As soon as you hear that piano, you know that the bullshit's on its way, don't you? Why don't you make a Christmas list? A list? Yes, I think I will make a list. How about energy companies start giving some of their profits back? How about Pfizer give some of their profits back? How about companies that sell sugary, salty, disgusting food aren't given platforms like this? Mm, no. You're going on the naughty list. Looking for my window. How many more times can you hear a cover song sung like this? Looking from the window I'm sick and tired of that whole mood. Thin, reedy rendering of a timeless classic, almost as if the very life force is being sucked out of people. Can you hear Thing is, is it works as well, isn't it? You sort of start to feel a bit like sad and lonely. It's actually fucking working. This is like emotional pornography. You can say that pornography is wrong, and my personal belief is that it's not bloody helping. But if you sit and watch it, your body will respond. And this is what this is. It titillates you and stimulates you in ways that you're evolved to appreciate. Oh my God, that cute kid. It's more difficult to sort of go, okay, inflation is at a 40 year high. Two million UK households are behind on bill payments. Millions face poverty in the US as global food companies paid out nearly 15 billion to shareholders. The world's biggest food giants made 20 billion in profits while warning of high prices to come. Now you can't hold that information in your head while you're looking at some cute cute little kid doing something cute. And they know that about us. They know that we are sweet. They know that we are decent. They know that love is the ultimate reality. And they use that to make money. Only you. How do you send this to Father Christmas? Well, it's not going to be easy because mail and postal workers are on strike because they're egregiously underpaid and vilified by the mainstream media. Sometimes when I think of her name and it's only Okay. Don't worry about that. Go to McDonald's. When I see you. Like, you can't even tell, can you? Because all it's doing is trying to arouse a sort of mawkish, deracinated, ungrounded, unrooted sentimentality. And then it suddenly goes, McDonald's. Well, McDonald's net worth in 2022 is 194.7 billion. Their gross profits in 21 to 22 was 13 billion. During these various wars and pandemics, their profits have increased. Phthalates in McDonald's food are linked to health problems, like reproductive health problems. So ironically, you wouldn't be able to have a cute little kid to send a Christmas list because your nuts and ovaries won't work because of the bloody McDonald's that you've been invited to eat. Studies say that by 2045, we'll have a median sperm count of... Zero. So enjoy the last generation and enjoy that Big Mac. Eating junk food raises the risk of depression, says a multi-country study, a study that found that foods containing a lot of fat or sugar or was processed leads to inflammation, not just of the gut, but the whole body known as systemic inflammation. So what they do is they rouse your emotions and then sell you profitable food that's bad for you and call it Christmas, which is meant to be about kindness and Christ and community and transcending the material experience. They use the values of spirituality to further inculcate materialism. And all I ever knew, only you. If by reindeer ready, do you mean am I going to vomit, then yes. Why do you like doing this? Think I got it now. We go all out with the lights. Food? We live for food. <laughs> I love my mama's dumplings. They ask for my dolma. I suppose this is an opportunity to see how 
powerful and important messages like inclusivity and diversity and the celebration of whatever culture is meaningful to you is utilized to promote, you know, and if you haven't guessed it yet, this is Walmart. Feel a gumbo, feel a gumbo, feel a gumbo. Cookies, cupcakes. And it has to be paper, please, because I'm not washing dishes. <laughs> In a sense, you can say that this ultimately it's just a supermarket, but it's not, because economically, Walmart are more powerful than most of the Earth's nations. Of the top 100 revenue-generating entities in the world, 71 of them are corporations. At number 10 is Walmart. So Walmart is economically larger than Spain, India, and South Korea. So Walmart is not an insignificant entity. So what you're watching is not only the propaganda for a commercial product producing vendor, but a significant financial power that is able to mould and influence your experience of reality. So what you're watching there really is propaganda masquerading as a bit of festive inclusivity. It's my kitchen, my house, check what you're doing. my recipes. It definitely smells like the holidays. Mom! I suppose what we're pointing out is the distinction between what you're presented as reality, what you experience as reality, and the tr true nature of reality. What is organising your planet? What principles are affecting your life? How is your experience of being a human alive right now on this planet being utilised, rebooted and manipulated in order to generate profit, to reduce your personal power and to distract you from the fact that you can't prevent this from happening? <laughs> That, to me, is everything. It's the best place to be. Significantly, you're told that these enterprises rise to positions of prominence because of entrepreneurial ingenuity. But you, the taxpayer, are funding poverty wages at organisations like Walmart. A government study shows that taxpayers are subsidising starvation wages at McDonald's and Walmart. Walmart employees have to rely on food stamps and Medicaid, employing the most workers whose income is subsidised by taxpayers. So ironically, if you worked at Walmart, you wouldn't be able to afford that food without food stamps. Even though you've got a job at the place you're getting the food from. On the first month of Christmas, my true love shared with me Hershey's kiss is so sweet you're being dragged face first into idiocy by these organisations. The truth is that Nestle, Mars and Hershey have been using child labour to get cheap cocoa. A 2020 study by the University of Chicago found that 1.5 million are harvesting cocoa today, with the main countries for production being the Ivory Coast and Ghana. On one hand, we have dancing, celebrating children. And on the other hand, we have children toiling in cocoa plantations, being paid what amount to slave wages. Come get together, big hugs and smiles. Bonding. Gift Hershey's Kisses special selection. And a new study suggests that those kisses contain toxic heavy metals. They've all got the same mood, haven't they? Whether it's Amazon, Walmart, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Hershey's, they all have the same sentimentality. And I imagine that these kind of emotions are utilised to bypass rational thought. The images of family, inclusivity, joy, spirituality, even mysticism, can all be utilised essentially to distract us from the fact that these products aren't going to work for you. They're not going to make your life any better. You know, on one hand, having the odd McDonald's or drinking a glass of Coke or having a Hershey's kiss or using Amazon and Walmart are part of the ordinary experience of many people but the part of the function of these advertisements is to distract us that we're participating in systems of real and genuine power that we're living in a world where there is increased poverty increased suffering lowering the quality of our food and preventing us from having real agency in our real lives in a sense we're participating in a very very powerful system and even these apparently innocuous commercial products are part of a system that ultimately will prevent you from being happy and keep you continually distracted Hey there, dog. There's that song again. Count on you. The road is long and I'm scared what I might find. Like, I'm a father. I've got daughters. Part of me feels that life should be like this. I should be sort of in a tool shed sort of doing something while my kid does a handstand. But life, is your life like that? My life isn't like that. And part of the reason my life's not like that is because all authenticity in reality is being eroded in order for us to live in a kind of bizarre matrix simulacrum where we don't have access to real feelings or real community anymore. Everything is commodified. We're continually hypnotised and it seems impossible to use the great tools that technology and science have granted us to create a better, fairer and more authentic world and part of the reason for that is you're continually distracted and your attention is placed into mind-numbing commodity like this one sweet child 
up in the morning out that door who knows what the world has in store for but if you actually work for amazon you haven't got time to take your seatbelt on or off or have a piss is there a reality Start, I know. I know. So this is Amazon. Amazon is essentially now a nation mapped onto the planet. And like, listen, I'm not some crusader. I use Amazon. How can you not use Amazon? How can you not use Amazon Prime, watch their TV shows? This is part of the point I'm making. It's so immersive and total. It is like we are in that snow globe. Like we live in that fucking thing now. There's no way out except for a spiritual awakening and conscious community activity. Amazon's gross profit in 2021, pandemic, was 216 billion, nearly a 50 percent increase from the previous year. For some organizations, the pandemic was positive. Amazon gets $10 billion of federal contracts despite Biden's union pledge. The Biden administration has reawarded a massive $10 billion federal contract to Amazon, even as the president faced mounting pressure to fulfill his promise to halt such contracts to companies that refuse to remain neutral in union elections. So they use values like family and unity and togetherness in their commercials, but in their business, they break down solidarity. They break down the possibility of fairness and justice. You hold me up So I while Amazon presents the public facing side of its business as saccharine, family orientated and fun, the reality is they have an 80% higher rate of serious injury to their workers. A union backed study of safety data found Amazon workers had 5.9 serious injuries per 100 people, almost 8% higher than the rest of the industry. The study's organisers blamed Amazon's obsession with speed as the main cause of its problems. In a way, like sort of the ingenuity of the copywriters and creators of this advert is sort of like has to be acknowledged. But the idea that you will evoke grief, bereavement, the loss of a mother in order to better present a an organization that's essentially more powerful than many of the Earth's nations as a sort of a benevolent entity is a perfect snapshot into the place we've arrived at in this world. Almost unable to discern reality, unable to assess why there is such egregious poverty, unable to understand why there are ongoing wars, because we are ultimately being invited to live in a synthetic version of reality where our true emotions are stimulated in order to serve corporate goals. And that's what's happening in that advertisement. You're watching something that's authentic and real and pulls at your heartstrings. But if those values were truly held dear by the organization, they simply wouldn't behave in the way that they do. So you are really living in a synthetic reality. Your hormones, dopamine, serotonin, being stimulated while you're being fed bad food, using dubious services, and living ultimately in an undemocratic world that has no real values or principles, just the appearance and performance of those values. I'm just gonna close my eyes so tight, take your hand and keep me to the morning light. Perhaps the biggest irony of all is that if those corporations lived by the values they espouse in those commercials, they wouldn't be able to afford to make those commercials. It's a living contradiction or paradox, or perhaps most of all, beautifully presented, disgusting hypocrisy. So I, I can fly. I would say amounts to a kind of semiotic pornography, the recreation of the inner world bequeathed by a dead mother, recreated by the community as a shared endeavour of a father's duty. These are sort of really beautiful, evocative myths, but these myths are being utilised in order to keep you a kind of captive of a simulacrum. You are, in fact, living in a snow globe. Like, it's almost understandable why people believe in like flat earth theory. You are kind of being invited to live in a synthetic reality where you don't have any choice, where you're being unduly stimulated to feel unworthy and untrue emotions that are being utilised by some of the most powerful interests in the world. And I would argue, in a malfeasant manner, to sell you food that is bad, for you, to use a service that treats its workers unfairly, to drink drinks that are bad for you, foods that have literal toxins in them, chocolate that uses child labour. We are being distracted from reality 
by some of the most powerful interests in the world in order to do what? To glean and garner profit that would not be possible if you actually awoke, if you actually understood the true meaning of Christmas, which is a personal awakening of the divine within you, which doesn't have to be abstract or esoteric, which is possible to all of us. The things that they're using in their adverts, ironically, literally ironically, are the values we should be aspiring to. Community, acceptance, love of your own tradition while accepting and celebrating other people's right to have their own tradition. The importance of being a good, true father. The value of your community, love, honouring the sacred. They're using the things that are important to distract you from the things that are important, or more importantly, to distract you from the fact that those very things are being lost. The world that they present to you is the world we should be living in, but we cannot live in that world as long as we grant them the kind of undemocratic global power that they have. These things are not unconnected from a surveillance state, from a sensorial planet, from a globalist agenda where you will own nothing and be happy. Because what you're being presented is the appearance of values while real values are swept aside in favour of the only value that they truly prize. Centralised power, centralised profit, undemocratic ability to pursue your agenda without disruption or interruption from the ordinary people whose lives and values are presented here in a simplified saccharine fashion to distract you, I believe, from what's really happening. So while you're watching something like that, you think it's kind of beautiful and sweet. And did you see that advert? Isn't it lovely? No, it's not lovely. You're being cudgelled, bludgeoned, distracted, hypnotised and drugged by a culture that, as Terence McKenna used to say, is not your friend. By God, happy Christmas. You need a spiritual awakening. And together, actually, we can have one. But not by using Amazon, eating McDonald's, drinking sugary drinks or eating chocolates. By actually doing the things that they say we should do in those adverts, which amounts to being kind and beautiful to one another. Turn on the notification bell, subscribe to our channel because the algorithm, understandably actually, when you think about it, is dead set against us. Because the truth is, we are against them. And we hope you are too. Stay free.